last Saturday when uh, we have funeral here for Brother Joseph here, a priest telling about a brother, a dying brothers, and he asked him, he asked the brothers again and around, and he's the death bath, a key to heaven. Uh, one brother brought him the Bible. He shook, he shook his head. And another brother gave him the crucifix, shook his head. And the rosary, he shook his head. And finally, the brothers remembered that, oh, these brothers used to be a, a tailor, just so doing mending and sewing all the ropes for the, for the community. So we went to, to, the, to the shop and brought back a needle, just a needle. And that dying brother just tried to sit up and receive that reverently and then holding that, you know, that needle into hands and he closed his eye, smiling and dying. So beautiful. And then the, the priest asked, what key we give to Brother Joseph here? So he can go to heaven. Among, among the, the, you know, the congregation, there was a, a young Buddhist who used to be a colleague with Brother Joseph here. He was you know, really, he was touched by that question. And you know, instead of going back after Mass to his house, he followed the, all the cultures and Brother here up to Napa for, to seminary, and he stayed there for the, for the service and for the burial. People, after burial, people went to the dining room conference, dining rooms and for dinner, and about 200 people left at that time, and after dinner they left. Just a group of married Asian, those who are fathered by the, by the GIs during the Vietnam War. You know, they, they, are mis they were mistreated uh, by the communist government in Vietnam. They were thrown out on the street, they called that the street children, or the children of the dust. And then uh, when the, the American here you know, recognized, oh, this, they are our children, take it home, bring them home. So they tried to bring them home here. But you know, a lot of, uh, quite a few Vietnamese tried to grab them and then buy them as uh, like a, a visa, you know, because they can follow them to America. So they can migrate it. But once they got into America, they dumped them again. So they were so, you know, so, not only poor, but illiterate, uh, underprivileged, marginalized, and then nobody liked them. They couldn't find their father here either. This is their fatherland, but they couldn't find their father. And Joseph here spent most of his time for, for those kids. By the end of the day, when people left Mont Lassan, those kids stay. And they asked us the permission to go back to the cemetery. And there, you know, young girls, half black, half Vietnamese, put on the long ao yai, you know, the Vietnamese traditional robe, to show Joseph here, that's man, you now you taught me to be Vietnamese, now here I come with the Vietnamese robe, keep that tradition. And then she holds the, the, the lot of flower there, and she cries so much, stay there at the tombs, looking down, you know, the casket, of, very simple casket of Joseph, now it's covered with all the flower, so many flowers, and she just cry, 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 you know, and finally she showed that doubt and said goodbye to him. And that Buddhist young man, all suddenly he realized that he was enlightened. This is the key for Joseph here to go to heaven. I think that that's, that's the key, you know, here. We feel that we really love the kids. We really, you know, welcome all the kids, no matter, no matter what. They call us at night, we go. They come here with us, we accept it. We welcome them. If they need us any time, at any day, we always ready and available for them. And, you know, I believe that, that Joseph here gave us a very, very good example and a sure key to, to heaven. And I, I think that Saint Lazar now sees the welcoming Joe up to heaven, and he's very, very proud of him. Now oh, you are really Lazar. <laughs> you are really my son. You know, spend most of your time for the underprivileged, underprivileged kids, the kids on the street, the kids who nobody wanted.